Hi guys, Yuri here again. It is time for a little update on Prismatic Evolutions again. Because uh, we got a new post on Poker Beach, and we're going to go over that in a second. Um, but we're going to talk about a couple of the other posts that have been posted in the previous days. Uh, but to me, we're not like enough to make a separate video on. So we're going to go over that uh, right now. I'm not going to go over the Pokemon uh, TCG, the TCG Pocket app. Uh, whilst I am able to use it, I'm not going to go over the updates on that. Uh, one thing that I want to talk about quickly is they released the Articuno card for the Chinese Pokemon Go set. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's called Pokemon Go because uh, they don't have the app in China, Pokemon Go. Uh, but it's this, basically the same set but different artworks apparently. Um, as far as I understand this is probably China's last set uh, to end the Sword and Shield era with before they go over to the Scarlet and Violet. Uh, era. Yeah, China is behind for a while, but they're trying to catch up with uh, with Japan and with English uh, Pokemon cards. But here we see both versions, and in my opinion, the Chinese version looks so much better. Like, not only because of the border, but the artwork is so much nicer, I think, right here. It looks more realistic, I'd say. This is actually how it would look uh, in, the, in the anime, I'd say. This is how it like, would maybe look in real life, which is of course impossible. But there's some other cards, and especially the Radiant cards from Venusaur, Blastoise, uh, Charizard, I think look better in um, in the Chinese version compared to the English version that we got. But that's just a little bit of information on that. Then the next thing that I want to talk about is here we got a. Uh, New post on the EX starter deck generations. Apparently, there's going to be a black belt card for every generations decks. Generation deck, sorry. And they're all doing the same thing, but they just have different arts. Uh, these are not promo cards, even though they say here new promos. Uh, that's not really what we see. Or that's possible. Oh, maybe. Oh, they're not talking about these black belts, probably. They're talking about the cards here underneath. I assume, uh, but the black belts all do the same thing, just different artworks, which is kind of nice. We also have the same thing for the professor uh, cards. There's a, a different one, respectively, for the generation of the decks that they're in. Um, but yeah, then we have a couple of images here, which we have seen already before, but these are higher quality, like the Meowth uh, illustration rare, and this is a promo. This is a promo, same thing with the Paldean Wooper. This is also a promo, but we just have them in a higher quality right now. Same thing here for the Suicune. This is a new card. Uh, and then the Duraludon is, uh, is, a, is a reprint, as far as I understand. But okay, that is everything on that. Nothing too crazy. Then we also got the full set lists of Surging Sparks, which we kind of knew already. Uh, but because the set released right uh, now, today actually, uh, now we actually have every card of the set, but also which products are available for Surging Sparks. I mean, not available because a lot of them are sold out, I think, as well, um, but which products are made. And then we have some of the promo cards here um, and like a couple of... Uh, small lines here on a couple of cards that were cut from the set but were put in, into as promos into some three pack blisters vice versa as well there there has been some promo cards in uh, Japanese that are included in the English set with uh, for us but yeah okay so that were a couple of posts that, that I've seen pass by that I don't really think we're worthy enough to make a separate video on but then we get to the most interesting part of today's video prismatic evolutions two-pack blister features Eevee to release on Pokemon day let's open this this was not included with the relief with what sorry rather with the revelation of all the products for prismatic evolutions um, so it's very interesting in my opinion this is one of the best 2-pack blisters that I've ever seen. It is very 
nice looking it is very fitting uh, but one of the nicer things is that the EV that we see right here and it's very let me actually go down a little bit we just can't see it for some reason let me remove these bars these advertisements um, yeah so we see here the car the EV will be part of prismatic evolutions but it is a promo because it has a stamp of Pokemon Day probably yeah 2025 um, so this will be a not purely a a, uh, a promo card when it comes to the art but because of the stamp it will be an exclusive card for this two-pack blister apparently uh, which is super nice I haven't seen that logo um, before uh, I'm sure they've used it before as well but I just have not seen a lot of cards like this uh, with the EV coin looks really nice I think this is probably going to be uh, one of the most popular two-pack blisters in the last couple of years I'd say uh, but not only that uh, there's some information here let us read upon this uh, the two-pack blister has been revealed to feature a hollow EV promo uh, so it will be hollow that's interesting because in um, in the set it probably will not be hollow no it's a it's a common a common card uh, the product will release on February 21st so it's separate from uh, the 7th uh, from the release of the products that will be on the 7th of February because uh, there will be some uh, products released I think it was the mini tins and the surprise box on February 7th uh, but on February 21st this will release which is a franchise uh, franchise is nearly oh, Jesus I can't read which is the franchise's yearly Pokemon Day celebration. Uh, the EV will come with a special Pokemon Day 25, uh, 2025 stamp. It'll cost $9.99 uh, and come with two, pack, two packs of Prismatic Evolutions, an EV coin and a code card. Of course, the price that we see will be probably on the Pokemon Center. Um, we'll have to see and wait, uh, wait and see, sorry, uh, what price it will be for for other uh, sources surprisingly the product ha was not revealed during the initial prismatic evolution lineup there could be more prismatic evolution evolutions products we don't know about yet and that is a cra that is crazy in my opinion they re re they revealed so many products for prismatic evolutions already and like not not only is this an extra product but there could be more that still need to be revealed. I mean, why would they say that if that would not be the case? I assume there is there are going to be some other products that we don't know about. I'm very excited for that. This is not the biggest news, of course, uh, but it is looking nice. And because of this promo card, I think this will be uh, pretty popular. Uh, if possible, I could try to buy some. Um, when, it will, when it will be uh, on pre-order, is just the question uh, we don't know like basically all the products that have been revealed in the initial lineup um, are already on, on pre-order uh, on some of the websites so let me know guys what do you think about this two-pack blister uh, from prismatic evolutions do you have an idea what might be coming uh, besides this I'm hoping not thinking per se but I'm hoping they will bring a ultra premium collection. They were talking about a super premium collection and a uh, figure premium collection. They they haven't been talk. They haven't really said anything about an ultra premium collection. And there was an ultra premium collection for 151. So I would not be surprised if they would announce a ultra premium and then an ultra premium collection for Prismatic Evolutions either, because. It would be so fitting and I don't know how how big that would be uh, when it comes to popularity and, and value wise uh, but I think people will jump on that depending of course also on the promos that would come in that again guys that is just speculation I have no clue about that uh, what other products could they reveal actually um, I don't know whether there would be some other collection boxes they already revealed a couple of them um, there's the ETBs, there's the booster bundles, uh, 
Some tins, maybe? We haven't seen any tins. I mean, except the mini tins. Uh, but like with Paldean Fates, with Crown Zenith, there were tins. So that could be something as well, maybe? Um, except like, of course, with 151, there weren't any tins either, except for the mini tins. So I'm thinking, I think maybe an ultra premium collection is more likely uh, than tins for some reason. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, guys, by the way, I just want to say thank you again. Like we're nearing 1000. I mean, pretty quickly, I'd say. We're at like 875 right now. So uh, it's in sight, I'd say. <laughs> so thank you so much. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my uh, other update videos on the channel. Uh, also, some of my opening videos. I really appreciate your support, guys. Uh, when we hit a thousand subscribers, I will open every single product that ever has been made for the, for the set uh, celebrations. Uh, I have all products where there's pack in packs included uh, ready to be opened for a while now. Um, so if we hit a thousand subs, we'll, uh, we'll do a live stream on that and open every single product that has ever been released for the 25th anniversary in English. Okay? Thank you so much, guys. Um, we'll leave it here. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.